outfit. Have you heard about Avalanche's The torch of Cosmo Canyon will Hearken to the wisdom of the power. downplay the planet's peril, but if they saw the weapons up close like we did, they'd have no choice but to acknowledge how bad it really is. Folks around here, though, they get it. They want what's best for our planet. You can see it in their eyes. Wonder if it ain't too late to recruit them to Avalanche. of her teachings gather here to share their experiences. Through these seminars, we learn from one another and together enrich our lives. Participation in the seminars requires a special invitation from a mentor. Without one, I'm afraid you cannot join. Perhaps you might instead consider taking part in the River of Lights ceremony. I suspect you'd enjoy it. The seminar is in front. All the time I've spent here, it's so great learning about the planet. I ask you this, who am I? What must be so Not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Ah, not so fast. Sorry, but visitors aren't allowed in here. You see, this is where we keep all our valuables. Only those who have the key, as well as fellow Bugenhagen's permission, are allowed inside. If we've anything to fear, it is not huh? our fellow man, nor any creature big or small, with whom we share our home.
which comes from beyond the confines of this Oh, these are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Bukenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. That's more than old enough. I can protect our Vale and everyone in it. Which is more than I can say for my good-for-nothing father. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. <laughs> but where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. He never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Those devices are testing the pull of gravity. of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. I never thought you could become even more enchanted. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. <laughs> Do you recognize that little scamp? I'll have you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Right there is a type of a current generator. 
It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Because we saw them with our own eyes. Two in the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> a fascinating account. Were it true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. But it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Sent to you our planetarium. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Beginning. The shooting star. Planetology is not simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet. 
planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted, of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. You rang? Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come?
Here we seek together the wisdom of And yet, it's like Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. This village is lame. Did you know none of the materia here is even real? And don't get me started on the planetologists. Bunch of blowhards in love with the sound of their own voice. I heard from fellow Bugenhagen. By all means, please come and join the seminar. Follow me if you would. Which would you say is a more worthy pursuit? They are both one and the same. Wouldn't you agree? We are as much a part of the world. I ask you this. Who among you has looked in? So many seminars.
A seminar is in progress. Please be respectful. I've uh, always been on the bigger side, but I've please continue on into the assembly. Painting and poetry are more my thing. My old man, he he used to say it was a waste me spending all my time indoors. According to him, a big kid. What about you, miss? You must have a story to share. Please. Me? Uh, okay. I, uh, where to begin? I fell into the life stream. I don't have words to describe it, except beautiful, maybe? It was a lot to take in. Feelings of kindness washed over me. Long-forgotten memories came flooding back. It was a warm, comforting place. But there was also conflict. A war between the planet and its enemies. And I can't... I mean, we can't let them win. We need the planet, and it needs us. We have to rise up, fight back, defend it from this terrible threat. Thing is, I don't know how to do any of that. And I hoped you might have the answer. <sighs> I, I'm not criticizing planetology or anything, and I'm not trying to scare anybody either. I just... You know... <sighs> Never mind. This is all coming out wrong. Please, do not be discouraged. Should you ever wish to try again, we would be more than happy to listen. What matters is that you keep challenging your beliefs. Stop doing that, and the answers will forever elude you. On that note, I think we should adjourn for the evening. The River of Lights is almost upon us, so let us head to the torch. I'll see you at the festival. Look at them, gathered around the fire. Just like us that day. Me, and Mom, and Dad. If only we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll lend an ear. Whenever I think about my mom, my chest swells with so much pride, I, I feel like it'll burst. But when it comes to my dad, I just... Sorry, I can't. Still not ready. I had the 
pleasure talking to a mentor. Said it was presumptuous of me to think I could save the planet. She decides her own fate, you see. As rain cleanses the skies, so too does she cleanse herself of filth. So what? We sit here and theorize while the planet rinses and repeats? No, we fight, or nothing will change. That's what I said. I knew you'd see it my way, Merc. Thanks. Did I sound as awkward as I felt? You did good. Can't help it if they suck at listening. I got what you were saying. I kind of wanted everyone to get it, though. To hell with everyone. <laughs> Great advice. Thanks. So, I'm an ancient, as in a steward of the planet, one of those ancients. Or, to be more precise, the only ancient. For the most part, it's been a source of pain. I've been held against my will. I've been watched. I've been ignored. Even hated. And it's been that way ever since I was little. My blood's been nothing but a curse. If I ever started to forget, something would remind me of what I was and bring me crashing back down to Earth. It was always the same. Time after time. I'd be shown a glimmer of hope, only to have it snatched away. I was never going to be normal. That much was clear. That's enough. Uh, uh, it's okay. I'll keep going. So my blood's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing. It's brought some wonderful people into my life, friends that I love. And for once, I think I'm okay. Happy, even. And all that pain feels worth it. Even if I can't lead a normal life, there is one thing I can do. Return their kindness. And try to make the most of what I've been given.
There. It is time. <sighs> Whoa. Pretty sappy, huh? Meant every word, though. So, this is where you've been, Nanaki. What's up? There's something of great import I need to show you. And by that, I mean more of you. Join me, would you? What did you all think of the river of... For whatever reason, the ceremony has drawn a number of tourists to the Vale as of late. When I ask for their impressions, they often speak of how beautiful it was. Some claim they were even moved to tears. It's an overwhelmingly positive reception, I'm happy to say. To stir the human soul is no small feat. And it pleases me to know that the River of Lights possesses of such power. Alas, I promise you. my hopes to parlay their emotional response into a deeper intellectual curiosity. They have yet to be fulfilled. People are surrounded by cats, dogs, birds, and trees. They know that life is all around them, be it through the birth of a baby or the blooming of a flower. They bear constant witness to the blessed cycle of creation. Yet they've no interest in the welfare of our planet. <laughs> Forgive me for sharing my idle thoughts. Keeping them to myself is quite a challenge in my old age. I'm glad to know that Aerith has friends like you to keep her company. Today's experience was surely the will of the planet. Oh, 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 oh. Well then, shall we proceed? Uh, but I thought this door was sealed so that none may enter. Why, yes, and by my own hand, no less. However, you've a trial to undertake. I do? If you wish to prove yourself, and become a Watcher of the Veil, that is. I presume you are prepared. Yeah. I will also require your assistance in carrying out the trial. Much danger awaits within, and I wish to ensure his safety. When you're ready, simply say the word. And off we go. Now we follow the cave where it leads, deep as it will take us. Has Nanaki told you anything about his parents yet? Yeah. No. They were watchers, both of them. But they couldn't have been any more different. When our village came under attack, my mother fought with courage, with honor, 
She faced the enemy and laid down her life to save us. My father, though, he turned tail and ran. He was a coward. So then, you still haven't forgiven him. Why would I? Oh. I see. From this point onward, only two may proceed. He who shall undertake the trial, and his observer. Who's gonna observe? I'll do it. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, that would render the trial meaningless. But if not him... Ah, you do nicely. Me? Him? Really? At least pretend not to hate me. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Ready.
Watch my back. Yeah. Burning holes in you right now. <laughs> what is this? This is a place of should be well within your power to climb. Managed to make it all the way up here? <laughs> okay. Hey, somebody fill me in. Oh, 
Damn if that doesn't look convenient. Hey, where'd you run off to? Here you know. Shake a leg!
only got two legs here, you know. Got two legs here, you know. Normal circumstances, I would stress that you uh, mustn't judge a book by its cover. For the Gi, however, they are as fearsome as their appearance implies. These are the things that killed my mom? Nanaki, this shall be your first try. You are to explore this place. Understand the nature of its history. Okay, we'll do.
I'm not sure, but I'm pleased to see that you're enjoying yourself. a key arrow. Its point is coated with a poison that rapidly circulates through the body, slowing the wounded until they are completely turned to stone. Most would call that materia, but it is far more than a magic stone. It is a crystallized collection of the planet's memories and knowledge. of the Fae. The carvings on its hilt should look familiar. Indeed, you'll find the very same markings on your own body. you fought was a fallen key. Even in death, their lingering enmity manifests as such. They who wander 
in search of retribution. That's kind of pathetic. Do not be so quick to denigrate your enemies, nor make light of their plight. Consider this statue. It has been placed in this chamber for a reason. Handle it with the utmost care. I will. Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Are these altars? Interesting, because my first thought was, are we going to make it out of this place alive? <laughs> its decor is indeed the opposite of inviting. These look like the statue I picked up. If there is a reason for everything, then one could argue that everything has no reason. Regardless, you know what you must do, don't you? Deliver unto us the remnants of our past. Restore them to their rightful place. Only got two legs here, you know. Thank you. 
of the Vale is intertwined with the Gi, for they first came to these lands many millennia ago. This sanctuary is proof of their persistence, for it was built to ensure that they never escaped. But if they were sealed away thousands of years ago, how'd they break out and attack the Vale? That I cannot answer. Only the key themselves could. But enough about them. You are here to learn about yourself, Naraki. This cave serves as a boundary between our world and that of the Gi. It was vital to them and their plans. Were the Gi to seize control of it, the canyon would be doomed. And the people. When the Gi moved against us yet again, a certain Watcher recalled this vulnerability. Huh? Since time was of the essence, he entered the cave without reinforcements. As he had feared, it was teeming with Gi, ready to descend upon the village. Determined to protect the Veil, he pounced from one foe to the next, felling all who dared oppose him. Hold on. If there was a Watcher who single-handedly saved the canyon, how come I've never heard of them? <laughs> For now, you should focus on your own struggles with the Gi. Their malice grows more potent.
got nothing on me! Reminds me of those altars. <laughs> there is a similarity, yes. But this sanctum is much more ancient and serves a rather different purpose. The altars we came upon before were built to imprison the key. This, however, was built to provide the Citra with a means to commune with them. Commune with them? Why would the Cetra do that? The Gi were the enemy. <laughs> Good and he through friend and foe. Dichotomy is not set in stone, as mutable as the winds. But for now, Anarchy, let us concentrate on the matter at hand, clearing the path to the truth.
road to Mobile Suits. Many flowers. 45 years ago, a watcher fought his way here alone. And in his bravery, took upon himself the burden of our hope.
become quite the formidable fighter. <laughs> sure have. So, does this mean I passed the test? <laughs> I'm afraid that decision is not mine alone to make. <sighs> Let us consult with one more qualified. The Watcher of the Vale fought valiantly, and offered up his life in defense of our home. As you see, he still watches over us to this very day. Wait... is that...? Seto? My father? No, there's no way. The poisoned arrows of the Gi transformed his body into stone. And there he has stood ever since, his watch eternal. Our savior. What about my mom? Did she know what had happened to him? Oh, oh, oh. Why, of course she did. It was, after all, she and Seto who asked me to seal off the cave. But why? Why did she never tell me the truth? Because she knew that if she did, you would attempt to seek your father out all by yourself. Your parents strove to keep our veil safe. But there is one thing they fought even harder to protect. You, Nanaki, 
their son. She was afraid because I was too small and weak. <laughs> Back then, perhaps, but not anymore. Heavens no. You've become a fine warrior in your own right. And that is precisely why I brought you here. <laughs> This is not where your journey is meant to end, my dear boy. You must leave the Vale once more. But I'm a Watcher now. I gotta protect our home, like he did. Listen to me, Anaki. When I first heard your friend's emphatic warnings, I dismissed them outright. No more than the ravings of misguided youths. When you've lived as long as I have, you start to believe you've seen it all, but no surprises remain. But I realize now how very foolish I have been. The eyes that I thought saw the world clearly have grown blind to new possibilities. But... I would hate to impede your progress any further. I bid you leave, Nanaki, before, like me, you become inured to your own ignorance. With sharper eyes and keener ears, go forth and in my stead seek the great truths of our world. Look after him for me. Don't worry, we will. You failed this trial, my boy. Continue your training and try again. Are you up to the task, Nanaki? You bet I am. After all... I am Nanaki. Watcher of Cosmo Canyon. And son of Seto, protector of our veil. to me. My name is Guy Natak. O oh, brave and noble Seto, I beseech you once more. Hear the urgent pleas of my people. My thanks, Seto. You are as magnanimous as ever. The warrior Nanaki. And you, the Setra. Come with me. turn of events indeed. We'll back you up for two thousand. <laughs> no. This one's free.
someone explain to me why we're even taking this detour? Anyone? Because some of us are on a mission to secure the material we need to, you know, save our homeland. How can you talk like that in a place like this? I'm scared of my wits here. I don't know. This gee dude's too nice to freak me out. He may act nice, but who knows what he's planning. Stay alert. The home of the Gi lies beyond. Now let us begin our journey. Not so fast. What's in it for us? Unless it's Materia, you can count me out. How strange you should mention Materia. My people are also in search of it. <laughs> okay, all aboard! longer if I could, but I'll be back soon. I promise. Try swaying with the rocking of the boat? I wanna move less, not more. <laughs> Didn't seem to mind when you jumped aboard. Well, only because he mentioned materia. Be quiet. The planet is listening. And what's wrong with that? Anything that reaches the planet's ears in due time reaches those of the Cetra. Unfortunately, the Cetra are not a tolerant people. Excuse me, am I intolerant too? I'm Cetra. <laughs> you are indeed one of them, by lineage alone. You know not of their history. That has been lost to time. Their history? Consider your ignorance a blessing. The Cetra's past is fraught with horror and sorrow. So there I am, on the ground, bleeding out, watching everything go dark. Thinking, this is it. This is how it ends. Only, it isn't. Suddenly, the wind picks up out of nowhere. It tugs at me so hard, it feels like it's tearing my soul right out of my body. Next thing I know, I'm back in the orphanage. But nobody can tell me who found me or how I got there. It's a miracle. Sounds like what happened to me. Whole freaking army unloading on my position. I'm outnumbered, and the next, I'm alone. None of it makes any sense. I somehow managed to beat the odds and wake up here, alone. 
Why in the hell did fate pick me? Can't think that way. <laughs> Can't not think that way. Their luck runs out, but mine doesn't. I'm the only one who gets a pass. <laughs> and now that it's just me, what am I supposed to do? You know? Yeah, I get it. Hey, come with me. Sure, but why? I'll explain on the way. <laughs> <laughs> 